Oh, it's Petra Predictions in Group A. Wow, this is the most unpredictable group in the whole tournament. Any team could top the group and any team could finish bottom. Really tight group this would be. But when I first saw the draw, I see Scotland topping the group in first, Hungary coming in second, Germany in third, and Switzerland in fourth. Scotland have been in incredible form. They look really cohesive as a squad. They know their strengths and they like know each other's roles as well, the players. And it's great to see. And I do think this will finally be the tournament where Scotland Scotland overcomes their group stage exit curse and gets out and puts really strong performances. Hungary, third consecutive Euros now. This squad is starting to understand football tournament very well. And hopefully Soboslai will not be injured this tournament. And in that elite captain can surely lead the way. Germany very inconsistent they don't look good as a squad they look very confused in their style of play no chemistry really but i think home advantage will play to their utter advantage and that's why i see them squeezing out the group switzerland yes they've been consistent in tournaments but i feel like they're running out of energy and charge now and they're just not looking even that good as a squad like in the qualifiers their style of play didn't look very cohesive and it's seemed a bit weird at times and i think it will finally come with this swiss squad it will just they'll just drain out and i think this will be the time where they capitulate group b this is definitely the group of death this euros and it's great to see another group of death in a 2014 european championship i see spain topping the group in first albania coming in second croatia in third and italy in fourth my main reason for these predictions is style of play and team chemistry spain obviously have elite players they look really good as a cohesive squad as well they know when to crank up the heat and when to sit back throughout the game as the game progresses albania they're very good at counter-attacking they showed this in the euro qualifiers they can sit back but they know when to counter-attack they know when to transition and they're very quick at it and they take their opportunities as soon as possible and yes this involved loads of cracking goals from outside the box but they don't faff around and i think this style of play will suit them and they can exploit teams like croatia and italy that like possession yes croatia and italy do dominate games but they have shown their flaws in this that they don't take their opportunities they can be slow up front as well and it just doesn't work in fast-paced football styles like that really croatia do no tournaments though that's why i see them ahead of italy but i think they're in a transitional phase with their squad they're clinging on to the old guard so much but i think this tournament will be that defining moments of okay we need to let go and just start fresh italy have proven to just not be that good to be honest and they've shown their weaknesses group c i see England top in the group in first, Denmark coming in second, Slovenia in third and Serbia in fourth. Not much to say about this group really apart from another simple tournament group for England. Denmark's got that tournament experience over Slovenia and Serbia and Slovenia over Serbia I think is purely because they have a better defence than Serbia and I feel like those two teams would draw against each other so it'll literally be down to goal difference. Group D this is probably the second most difficult group this euros it'll definitely be a really interesting one to watch i see france topping the group in first austria coming in second netherlands in third and then the league a playoff team coming in fourth france they, they're just so strong they've got so much depth admittedly i don't see them having too much issues in this group austria above netherlands they're just a very strong cohesive squad and they just play comfortably and with a genuine style of play whereas i feel like the netherlands is still quite confused Fuse. there's not that much cohesion really in their style of play they don't put games to bed either really and for the league a playoff winner whether that be wales poland whoever I don't think they're in good form, any of those teams, so I don't see them doing well. Group E, this is a peculiar group, actually, and I think he'll be more interesting than people realise. I see Belgium topping the group in first, Romania coming in second, Slovakia in third, and the League B playoff winner to come fourth. Belgium, relatively simple group, but I don't think they'll win all their games. Romania, above the other teams, they kept six clean sheets, and they only conceded five goals in the 10 qualifying 
round matches. That is great stuff for them. And they are very sound defensively. And they keep good structure when moving up the pitch as well. Slovakia, for once, they're playing good football. And they're utilising their wing as well. Far more attacking than I've ever seen Slovakia play. And the League B playoff winner, I do feel like Slovakia and Romania are actually strong right now and I don't think they'll have a chance and yes you'll see in the videos I don't think any of the playoff winners will do as well just because I think the teams that qualified prior are stronger at the moment. Group F I see Portugal top in the group in first, Turkey coming in second, the League C playoff winner in third and Czechia bottom in fourth. This is a simple group for Portugal not gonna lie but as for the other three teams I feel like Turkey is the most tactically astute team. They know how to grind out results even when they're not playing well they know how to create opportunities out of nothing can make the most out of gains actually which i think will take them far in this tournament as for czechia they have a pattern in euros yes they've qualified for many consecutive euros but look at this pattern group stage knockout stage group stage knockout stage and i think this will continue and i think they will come out in the group stage i think they'll crash if you look at their qualification most of their goals came from the midfield they don't have a reliable striker or front three anyway at this point and hey that league c playoff winner whether it be greece or a debutant team might spring a surprise on check here. rapid knockout predictions that leaves us with the first knockout game of spain versus Netherlands I see Spain winning they're just a much better side at the moment in every aspect aren't they Scotland versus Denmark I see Denmark winning this game they have much more knockout football experience and Scotland would have put such strong performances in the group stage that I think they'll just run out of gas in this game Portugal versus Croatia this is a rematch of the 2016 round of 16 game and I think Portugal will win this again I think Croatia will just have ran out of steam from their group of death Austria versus Romania I see Romania win in this game actually as their defense will cause issues for Austria Austria will dominate in that but Romania will get lucky have that opportunity take it and cause Austria problems Belgium versus Germany I see Belgium winning this game they're just a much better squad at the minute aren't they and hey Germany can count themselves lucky getting out of the group stage with so much pressure from home and being so flimsy right now France versus Turkey I see France winning the game but I see this being a really close game could even go to penalties and I think he'll be a really interesting game but France are so much stronger got far more depth than Turkey. England versus Slovakia I see England winning they're far stronger and have more depth squad than Slovakia. Final round of 16 game Hungary versus Albania I think Hungary will win Albania would have just been flat out of steam from their group of death. On to the quarterfinals first game Spain versus Denmark I see Spain winning this game they're much better defensively they have more squad depth and their players are just that bit better than Denmark. Marks. Portugal versus Romania I see Portugal winning they're just a much stronger side they'll be too strong for Romania and hey Romania can hold their heads up high getting this far into the tournament France versus Belgium this is a tough call but I'm gonna go with Belgium winning maybe France just gets it tactically wrong Belgium are happy to sit deep the whole game frustrating France who knows England versus Hungary I think England will win this game and it's these type of knockout games where England gets so jammy I think it'll be a really close Close game Hungary will put up a great fight but England to win very jammily as they usually do at this stages of the tournament against teams they're expected to do very well against on to the semi-final Spain versus Portugal a great Iberian derby I think this game would be really tactical it would be an amazing game a really close call but I'm gonna go with Portugal and I think it's because they have more squad depth and their running into this semi-final was simpler or would have been simpler than Spain's. That leaves with the other semi-final of Belgium versus England. And I actually think Belgium would win this tie. Up until this point of what I predict, this would definitely be the hardest test England faces. And as we've seen with every tournament, when England faces the real competitor at the latter stages of a tournament that's when they crumble under the pressure and there's so much pressure of England winning a trophy with this generation and I see them crashing under the pressure that leaves us as a final with Portugal versus Belgium 
if this final were to really happen without overthinking it, I think Belgium would actually win. The reason I say this is because I feel like this Portuguese squad actually has a lot of pressure on them with a player like Ronaldo might be at their last tournaments and all the expectations along with it. And I feel like Belgium has lower expectations given they did bad in the last World Cup. And if my predictions are correct. Belgium would have had a more difficult run in to the final than Portugal. So, hey, it might be better preparation in that sense. And overall, it might be a great middle finger to Roberto Martinez for messing up with Belgium's golden generation. So there you have my early predictions for the Euro 2024. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.